I whooped That's how they, that goes to show your level of education I that you count that as a fight. Ass. I whooped your ass. Well, I'm glad ass. you won this one because you're not winning the next time I, I get my hand on I up. whooped your ass just now. If you can bring a dog fight to me, please do it. There's nothing you can do to stop me, Daniel Cormier. Expect very malicious, violent things that happen. Hey, are you still there? I actually admire that you can actually be this fake in like when the TV comes on, how you can just change. Thank you. You're in a scum of the earth. You are a terrible human being, but you can sure turn it on. John. Can you hear that, John? Uh, John Jones can talk all he, all he wants. Like, the kid has really, I looked at him, he hadn't really fought anybody. For him to be talking like that, the kid don't get the uh, type of experience. Oh, you think that's disrespectful to Shogun? Uh, you know, Shogun is the toughest guy he fought, and he was rusty and coming off an injury. Come on, we all saw Shogun when he first came. I just saw speed. Shogun beat and when he, Forrest when Griffin. He, I saw Shogun lose to Forrest Griffin the same way he lost I saw you lose to Forrest Griffin as well. Yeah, I, I saw me lose to Forrest Griffin as well, too. But I'm gonna see me winning on Saturday. That's all that count. That's all that. That's, that's all that count. That's good one. So, hey, I'm talking right now. Put your young ass up. Sorry, sir. You don't know if I'm gonna shoot on you or if it's gonna be a fake shot. You don't. You just don't know what you what you're getting into. And you, so you can say what you want, but I know just as much as you think that you know. John. All right. So you just show me why exactly you're gonna lose. Why is that? Because you think you know. And you think you know, you just said that. Yeah, Yo, you're weird, bro. I, I've done nothing wrong but follow my dream. I haven't, I haven't insulted anyone. I haven't disrespected anyone. I haven't traded on anybody. I came to this team. I took care of the coaches. I took care of the team. I kept winning. I kept getting better. I kept getting better. And Michelle was like, oh, I better go start my own team. I finished Rampage. I'm not the champ. Uh, Leota knocked you out silly, um, and I just finished with like, Leota, and I'm not the champ. I feel like the champ in every way. Hey, are you still there? You're in a scum of the earth. You are a terrible human being, but you can sure turn it on, huh? Thank you. You can say that there are going to be malicious things happening September 27th. Yes. Hey, I be. embrace that. I, I embrace that. I bring it, too, bring it to me. Absolutely. Meet me in the center of that octagon yeah, yeah. and let's you fight. You know that I am going to bring that to you. Then let's meet in the octagon and fight, John Jones. You know that I am going to bring that to you. I'm going to do everything in my, in my power to make sure you never forget the night you stepped in the octagon with me. I'll give up my arm. I'll give up, I'll give up an eye. I'll give up a broken a toe. It doesn't matter. There's nothing you can do to stop me, Daniel Cormier. There's absolutely nothing you can do. Every ounce of training you put in leading up to this fight will be a waste of your life. <laughs> I will make John Jones quit. Sunday morning, Joe Rogan, you will wake up and you will say, how can Daniel make this look so easy? John Jones, your reaction to hey. that? Hey, hey, Joe, listen, the guy has a job commentating for a reason. Yeah, you'll be talking Saturday, though. <laughs> say it, when I'm beating your ass Saturday. You show me on Saturday that I suck. Hey, show me I suck. You suck. Once I realized that he let his guard down, I snuck in two punches before the bell rang. Um, after the bell rang, he snuck in a few punches. I don't think any of them hit me. I th he almost hit Eric Dean. This dude trying to get in here. Look at this big old muscle head back here. That old meat blanket. But the security guy sure got to beat his ass. I got a vapor noise. Oh, hey, buddy. I thought he caught us. This dude, you guys think this guy can fight? What do you guys think? I think, listen, last time I, I foot swept you, held my hand on your hand like you're my bitch. Hey, what about when I threw your punk ass down? Be a legitimate champion. Is that the real belt over there? Fuck no. You never beat me. Billy beats me. That belt over there is, uh, is a piece of shit. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a bitch ass. I that had you crying. Hey, Who was the bitch a, backstage? A bitch you're hugging Cain Velasquez, crying on his shoulder. I'm the bitch. You threw bitch a worm ass me. Yeah, you threw a worm. Yeah. You know what you are. Are you back, junkie? I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. This junkie had you crying. You're a knob. Junkie whoops your ass, Daniel Cormier. Hey, you keep you keep playing around up here, and you'll see that side in the streets of Dallas, Texas. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I'm not usually. I am so don't be scared. Though. Don't be. You're good. I'm well, so scared. Okay. Is this guy really gonna go to the fight? Is this guy gonna? Is this guy gonna mess this up again by doing steroids or snorting cocaine or sandblasting prostitutes? What's this guy gonna do? What's this guy gonna do to mess this up this time? Prostitutes.
Prostitutes? I beat you after a weekend of cocaine. I'm gonna be in your face pressing you, trying to rip your head off every second of that fight. You don't deserve this. I'm bitter. I will show you, but you don't deserve this. I will die to beat you. Know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Be prepared to do that. Are you the biggest pussy? Am I the biggest pussy you have ever met and you want me to suck your dick like you told me? No, you are the biggest pussy I've ever seen, for sure. Okay. I haven't done all these things. I haven't wrecked my vehicle. I haven't been suspended. I didn't get stripped for my championship. I didn't do all those things. Guys, these are normal things that adult human beings do. You cheer this guy for saying he's not going to do these things anymore. I have done this my entire life, but you boo me. Uh, could someone bring Daniel some Kleenex, please? You know, last time I was uh, just fighting to win. This time I'm fighting to kick his ass. How would you look back on that, that decade? Um, I don't really like you, Luke, so I'm not going to answer your question. How do I look? You're a bum. That's why you looked like a bum last time. How, how, how do I look, DC? Hey, you look like a crackhead with a suit on. What's that? You look like a crackhead with a suit on. I could look like a crackhead with a suit on, but I've never been a crackhead like you, though. <laughs> so you can say I look like one, but I've never been one. I've never been one. Did, did you beat DC as well? <laughs> How about we beat you? I will beat you. Well, no, I mean, we had a close fight. Do you consider that you, you get ripped off in the DC fight as well? It was a split decision. I lost, but I will beat you. Jim. But you did beat me, but you lost to DC. Whatever it is, yeah, I did, but I beat you. What about Anthony Johnson? Did you beat him? No, but I still beat you. Though. What about it's Phil all about our fight. What about Phil Davis? Did you beat him too? No, I beat you. I'm just trying to give you a psycho psychological value. That, that, that's the only thing that counts. Nothing else, John. Just making sure. It's just the past. You know, it doesn't matter if it's on Rocky Field or whatever. I'm going to beat him anyway on Saturday night. There you go. You said the same thing. You say the same. You say the same shit every interview. I'm in the best shape of my and life. You're not, John. I'm in the and best shape not. of my life. I'm and you're not. Shape of my life. I'm ready. I'm in the best shape of my life. You say the same dry ass shit every fight. And you're not. Shut John. the fuck up. And you're not. And you're not. You said the same shit before you got knocked out in front of your whole country. Shut the fuck up. You know, your thoughts on Israel Adesani, a potential matchup, and what you just think about him as a fighter. So if Izzy really wanted to fight me, he would do it. Izzy's a pussy. And, 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 there's, and, and, and there's really no way around, there's no way around it. My job is to destroy this dude and start focusing on uh, 2020, you know what I mean? I've got like, I'm gonna have a great 2020 and it's gonna start off by destroying Dominic. I'm reading it right now. On this it might have helped me get here, to be honest. You know, I'm reading it right now on this training camp leading into beating your ass. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, Johnny boy. Not gonna happen. Great, great response, Dominic. Yeah, Kobe's a habitual liar at the end of the day. He, he really is. I mean, he, he, he told the, the fans that we lived together for two years. We lived together for one semester. Um, he's just, I've made a lot of mistakes and a lot of people don't consider me to be a good person, but I mean, coming from me, Kobe's a really bad person. He really is. He really, really is. I mean, it, there's no coincidence that, you know, Tyrone Woolley got to know him and hates him. Uh, Masvidal got to know him and hates him. I got to live with him and, and really don't like him. Um, if any of you guys got to know him, man, he, he really is a rotten person. I think the MMA community is going to start to see it over the years.